very easily by Woking. Push a long ball forward, but Harry Phipps is going to get his head to it. Uh, but only as far as the yellow shirt of Woking, which Jeff Ford is a chance for any F young if he can chase that, and he can chase it. He gets it on the ground, and he's looking to get into the box. He does get into the box. Can he get a shooting position? He's looking like he's going to shoot. Can he shoot? He does get a shot in, but it's well, well blocked. Uh, very well done. Good defence there from the working defender. And uh, Sam Ling will collect it. Elliot Johnson to Frank Vincent. Johnson inside to Ling. Ling trying to find Frank Vincent. He will find Frank Vincent, but can Frank Vincent get a ball across? He does. And a great header. Oh, and that's just wide from Josh Reese. That was a great move. He sort of slipped as he got in on his header. And that's, uh, the ball was heading for the right-hand corner on the, on the floor, but it just went wide. Hold, holding him down. Yeah. Long ball forward. Oh, here's a chance. Here's a chance. A big chance for Woking. But the ball goes screaming over the net, and uh, the ball fortunately fell. Not so sure who that was. I'm just waiting for him to turn around so I can see his shirt number. Uh, but that was uh, dangerous. A moment of danger for Dagnan Rivridge. I want to see the ball on the ground a little bit more because Freddie Sears can be dangerous. Well, both of, both of them are so dangerous when they, when the ball's on the ground. But a long throw in at the moment comes in, but it's cleared. But it's only come out as far as Vincent, who uh, launches a shot towards the goal. I thought that was going to be a cross, but it was a. I think it was a shot. It was a sort of. Because uh, so, uh, he is a threat. There's no doubt about that. Dangers corner. Then I think this is our first corner of the game. It's going to be taken by number two, Josh Hare. Josh Hare in the ball. In the ball comes a few heads go up and the ball's in. Josh Reese. I think, I think, yeah, I think, I think, was, I think it was Josh Reese. I do believe it was. Or it might have been Frankie Vincent. I'm not sure. We'll double check that as we go through. 25th this. minute is the golden goal time. Yeah, and uh, that was all about that corner. And I go back to it, Mike. If you arrive late, that's what happened there from a dagger's point of view. Ball comes out to uh, number 11, Lewis, working well down the left-hand side, working, trying to get back into this game. They are 1-0 down, clipped across, right across the box. Yeah. It's a good chance, and it's a goal. An easy goal for uh, Reese Greco cock absolutely unmarked to the back post. Great work from Lewis, chipped the ball right over everybody's head. There was Greco cox totally unmarked, 1-0. Well, there you are, Mike. As I said, I expected a response from Woking. I didn't expect it that quick. You've got to say, the boy Lewis, just a dink, wasn't it? Dink into the box. Again, the cross is coming too easy from a dip. Dagger and Redbridge's perspective. You cannot let crosses in like that. And Greg O'Cox just on the far stick there. Well, he must have thought his birthday Christmas all rolled into one. Because... Goalkeeper Will Jaskalainen has come out on the uh, halfway line. He gets the ball back, but that's just about gone into the hand safely. Of Elliot Justin. Yeah, you say just about exactly that, Mike. He's just skidded off the turf there. Denon Lewis, then the creator of the goal, it will take the corner. We're in the fifth, 35th minute. Ball comes very low and has tried to flick across. That was dangerous, but uh, it is a Dangler Mebridge goal kick. Good work there. I like that idea. Ground staff do a really good job. Josh Hare. Tries to get the ball across, he's caught, falling to Freddie Sears, but he can't control it. That was a great opportunity, but uh, here comes Elliot Justin, he might shoot, he does shoot! Oh, that's just gone about five feet wide. And that is a little bit better, Freddie Sears just couldn't control that. And uh, we will be breaking very shortly, we'll just turn the uh, microphones down and uh, let you go and enjoy your half-time, whatever you have. Dagger still trying to come forward into the box. This is uh, Reese. Reese now taking over. Sears shoots at uh, Josh Hare, I think. Oh, Josh Hare yeah, shot in the end. Uh, yeah, it was Josh Hare who uh, shot on his left foot. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it's not a great return, is it? Uh, the disaster of last Saturday as well. You know, the XDFA cut mm. to a side that was what, five divisions below us was uh, not what the club wanted. But uh, been there before, and we've survived before. So uh, hopefully we can do it again. Ball comes into the Dagger's box and it's completely missed by Phipps and Brown's going to get a chance and he's unlucky not to score. It's a scoring side of Harry Phipps, a terrible mistake. He could jump completely over his head, head in hands from the uh, Darren Sale below me as uh, Reese Brown blasted that across. He was just too high and uh, I think had he been lower, Elliot Justin would have got his hands on it but uh, it's uh, going to be a Dagger's goal kick. Yes. Drop ball in which uh, Vince will take and then clip forward but uh, the game's back truly... 
quick red clash there, and Elliot Johnson hurt his knee in a clash with Akinola there. I think he's going to be all right, and a yellow card for Akinola. I think that was fair. High knee, I suppose. Yeah, I think that was fair, a little bit height there. And, uh... Right, check forward from Josh Hare. Up to any Effion. Effion doesn't win the header. And uh, it will eventually come down, and uh, back up in the air again, and a big tussle for Vincent, who sort of wins it. 50 ball average. It was though, it was 50 50 for me. Yeah, it was a 50, uh, it was 16 again. And Elliot Johnson, Daggers players, including captain uh, Elliot Johnson, I think he's just coming forward to make peace. But Johnson's down, he's all right, I think. He is all right, mate. What, what's happened? It was, it was a, I've got to be fair to the Woking player, yeah. And for me, I'm me up front here. I don't think there's too much in it, I you know. know. I think Akinola's, yeah, he's Akinola's he's got it. Two yellows, isn't it? Back and over, yeah. Yeah, so Woking are down to ten, uh, ten men. Yeah, I think it's a little bit. I mean, we've yeah. seen, uh, we've got a chance to see the replay. Woking fans not happy with that at all, and uh, and, and Justin has been booked. Well, he's the captain, he's come out. You know, might have, to have words with a referee, but uh, he may have said something out of turn there, Mike. Miles Weston will chase that down again, but Woking come forward now. The ten men of Woking. We're in the uh, 68th minute, and this changes everything. Advantage Dagenham and Redbridge, but can they take charge of it? But, uh, Zach Bradshaw does great work for Woking in the midfield, and Woking coming forward now and uh, moving into the box, but good defensive work. But it's come back out, and uh, Sam Ling slow to come out, and Woking can come again. It's going to be another substitution for Woking in the middle. In comes the ball. It's touched down, but Elliot Justin will fall down to his right and save the day. Yep, as I said, uh, Woking have got a perhaps reorganise, rejig, whatever you want to call it in terms of their uh, clientele or their setup. Right, uh, Hessenthal will collect this ball in midfield. He'll push the ball out to Josh Hare on the right hand side. Miles Weston now collects on the right hand side. Miles Weston, right foot, left foot, onto his left foot, takes his man on, stops. What's he going to do? He goes bursting through the two of them, clips the ball in, it's a shot. This is the uh, far left hand side post. That was a lovely work from Miles Weston. The crowd absolutely loved it. Well, as you say, he gets you on the edge of your seats, Miles Weston, no doubt about that. And you say he's just sort of broken into sort of a, well, just saw that change of pace broke in terms of the. Uh... Finds Phipps, who long ball out to Miles Weston, who heads it down beautifully, gives it to Josh Hedges. This could be a first time ball. It is. Charlie Kendall, Charlie Kendall could shoot here. Charlie Kendall does shoot. Right into the arms, well saved by Will Jaskalina. It was on target, but uh, it wasn't a difficult for him to save. No, but you, you called it, Mike. It was on target. I'll have that on target. He got it out of his feet. Didn't get it out as much as he'd like. It's Tom Eastman. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll be fair with that. I'll yeah. take that. Yeah, yeah I think he's worked well in defence. Yeah, so he yeah. got booked early on, and uh, mm -hmm. but he sort of marshaled things. This is dangerous. Don't you dare score, but he has a great side by little Justin. Great work from uh, Denham Lewis there. Great chance, I might, to, to, to put the gun to bed. Yeah, be Josh, Hare. That. Josh Hare comes full down the right-hand side. That's a long ball for any F1. F1 in the box, he shoots! And you've got to say, Effion, this time, has stayed on side, Michael. And that's exactly what he's done. He's then, he's then out muscle to the Woking defender and just found the bottom right-hand corner. Didn't really catch a shot with great pace, but that just shows it. From one, end, from one end to the other, Mike. From one end to the other. Yeah, Josh here with a long ball down. He's out muscle him. Side, out -muscled him in the goal. Then he's becoming a little battle with a... You know, Cuthbert at the back Big there, and you've got to say, you know, five, that's fantastic for that field, great finish, and 2-1 up. And then they say the Woking fans must be absolutely fuming there, as you said, they're going out in their droves there. And, uh, the sky's absolutely gone to black, the referee looks at his watch again, we're in the 98th minute, mm -hmm. the ball comes back to the goalkeeper. He's done this, and that is three points for Dagenham Rebels, and they collapse on the field. And uh, both sides back to the field, and uh, that was a, a, a worthwhile afternoon's entertainment. 